first card I have here is, if you'll notice, it's a mirroring image. And for me, this card represents sexuality between the Divine Masculine and Feminine at the moment. So I feel like they're mirroring each other, which is why there could be a heightened feeling of sexuality for some of you. Um, feeling very, very attracted to your Twin Flame right now. Uh, maybe you're having dreams about certain features, um, like the way their hair looks uh, around their neckline, maybe the color of their eyes, the shape of their lips, the way they smile. Just uh, certain features you both are starting to really appreciate about each other. Uh, even if you're different races or uh, you're both of the same sex and that's a new experience for you, I feel like this could heavily resonate for some of you who are having that amazing, beautiful experience on the Twin Flame journey. All of us have different dynamics that we are experiencing, but the reason we're attracting each other is because, you know, we're both feeling it. <laughs> That's why you're being pulled together. That's why you both have had the encounter. Whether you're running from each other now, because you've had the encounter, you, there will be mirroring going on with sexuality because you're always going to be curious about each other until, you know, that sexual union takes place for whatever reason the two of you have designed it that way. Maybe there's a lot of healing in your connection that will take place around sexual union. And so you're being asked to let go a lot of old patterns that you have towards sexuality and just embrace what it is you're feeling uh, towards your twin flame when it comes to sex because you both are mirroring each other when it comes to those feelings of being aroused. Um, the masculine is, you know, really beginning to appreciate a lot of the connection. You know, she, if you'll notice, she's pouring that liquid onto him and he's in heaven he's forever drinking her nectar you know she's feeding off positive energy and it overpours on him and gets him to focus on the connection more when the feminine is in you know a very confident and loving space with herself the things in her life and without even trying she gives off this feeling of abundance i mean when the masculines are thinking about the feminine, it's usually very detailed sexual fantasies of her. You know, wanting to explore her body, wanting to surrender to him, wanting him to surrender to her. So I feel like there's a lot of fantasizing on the masculine's part. And when I... When I pick up on the fantasizing, it's usually very tender. I feel like he really wants to protect her because he feels nurtured by her. And so automatically, I think he wants to protect that. It's that mothering energy that she gives off and with him, I sense that it's almost animalistic, like a lion with the lioness close and their cubs. You know, it's very protective in terms of how he feels towards her. Some of you, I, I'm not sure if you're masculine, may even be thinking about uh, having children or if you have children, he's wanting to learn how to approach that situation and what that may mean for him. And I feel like any experiences that you have had with your twin flame, you know, the lock of hair to me represents wanting a part of that person to always be with you. And in my last video, I had shared that the masculine was letting the feminine know that I see you everywhere. And it's because, you know, they're always connected if you look at him cutting the hair while she's asleep, you know. But she's well aware that he's doing that because the feminine is never really truly asleep when it comes to the masculine. 
she knows this side of him, this this obsession that he has towards her. And the reason she knows is because she feels it towards him as well. But I feel like because of the intensity, it's really hard for him to reciprocate that she would ever feel that way towards him. And so little by little, he's trying to learn healthy ways of you know, bringing his energy back a little so that she can really embrace her feminine energies. Because as long as he's putting up resistance and trying to control, then, you know, the feminine is the the rebel, I, I sense, in the connection. Um, and sometimes we might think that's opposite, right? Like, you might think it's the masculine that's running and not looking at the connection in a way that's serious, but oftentimes those roles switch and I feel like the current energies reflect that the masculines are really taking this connection seriously now, but because of all of the past experiences that the feminine has had with him that have been very, you know, maybe immature, very negative, very dark, she's gotten to that point where she feels like a rebel at this time. She wants to do things to, again, test the connection. Uh, it reminds me of the scene in uh, Twilight where Edward just kind of leaves, but he's still connecting with her through telepathy, but it's not enough at that point for her. She starts doing things like seeking solitude with Jacob and wanting to fix motorcycles. So it's a natural dance that they both do, and right now the masculines are very, very much aware of the seriousness of approaching the feminine in a new way this time. And little by little, they're building new paradigms on what healthy relationships mean so that they're constantly teaching the world, right? And that includes their family, their friends, themselves, you know, the people around them who will begin to know of the connection. But I feel like most importantly, it's for themselves individually so that they can help shape future generations. Like I said, I feel like, uh, you know, with this card here, um, some of you might have kids or your masculine wants to have kids with you because uh, what you two will do together um, in terms of influencing children will be very, very magical. So imagine children at a very young age learning about manifestation and changing and shifting their energies to you know, positively align with their thought forms. You know, thought forms are very, very important. And I want you guys to always know that you have to repeat affirmations about what it is you want, especially on the Twin Flame journey, if you want to bring it into existence and reality. So simple thoughts and simple use of your words to create negative frequencies around you, you just be mindful of that and start creating what it is you desire on the path. Don't use words that create bad experiences for yourself. So I hope that reading resonates with some of you. Um, I just wanted to keep it nice and short. Um, I'm sending you guys a lot of love and I'll see you in the next video.